Psychology, the key to success. Without controlling it, losses are guaranteed. But that's not easy for a huge percentage of traders. Hello traders, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Vasil Petrov and today I will talk about psychology in trading. Why psychology is so important for our success and what we can do to improve it. Before we start, subscribe to the channel with notification bell to never miss new trading content. It's free and with that you support me to continue with this type of content. And now, psychology. The first thing that you need to control is patience. When you make your analysis and you mark levels for sell or buy, the only thing that you need to do is to wait. To wait for the price to reach these zones and to add order only if you have all necessary conditions based on your strategy. Every trader wake up with desire to enter a trade. This is a major problem with large percentage of traders. If you don't have patience, you must work on it to achieve success. Otherwise, you will start placing trades without any vision or strategy and your trading will turn in gamble. Not every day there are conditions for trades. Some days you will only monitoring the market. Less time on the chart. This is the next advice from me. Don't watch the chart 24-7. This will affect your emotions and make you change your actions constantly. If you are too focused on the chart, this will affect your emotions and push you to change your decisions constantly. The price will go up or down with or without your 24-7 eyes on the chart. For example, if you trade on 4-hour time frame, just check the chart 10 minutes before every 4 hour to can see and catch the right moment for trade. Don't think about the money, the next thing in psychology. Most traders start to trade thinking immediately about money. You should treat trading as normal job, as normal business. Get up early in the morning, do the best analysis, follow your trading rules and enjoy the process. Think about the pips, not for the money. Try to find your mistakes when you have stop loss and the money will come at some point. Greed, this is the next thing in psychology. Some people say to yourself, I will place this trade and close it after 200 pips. Because with 200 pips I will win, for example, $1,000. Extremely big mistake. The market doesn't care about your desire to catch 200 pips and $1,000. Consider with previous highs and lows and see careful where the price can meet strong support or resistance. In other words, the market doesn't care about your desire to catch 50, 100 or 200 pips. And if you practice this kind of rules, you will lose your account. Rage after loss. The next thing, as trader you take risk in try to make profit. And when you take risk, you need to know that this risk can sometimes be against you. There are traders who after 3-4 losing trades in a row feel rage and desire for revenge on the market and double or even triple their positions to cut the loss. Of course, everyone has loses and always will. You should have a certain number of loses and percent of the account that you can lose and the number depends on your trading style and your strategies you use. For example, if your trades are with small stop loss, 
Then you should accept that you will have more hit stops due to the fact that you are not giving enough space for the price to develop in your direction. If you have trades with larger stops, the chance of loss drops and you should expect less hit stops. Don't take loses personally and never tell to yourself, oh, I need to recover my loss right now. Believe me, this will bring you more loses. Always is better to analyze what you did and why you go wrong while you wait for the next good potential trade. Pride. It's very easy to feel confident and invisible when you have a couple of winning trades in a row and get good profit. A lot of traders start feeling invisible and increase volume in new trades. Unfortunately, this is the moment when things go wrong and you lose all your profit. My advice is when this happens and you start to feel that confidence in the market, immediately stop or reduce the volume in next uh, trades. You should have a goal that when you reach it, you can give yourself a break. Rest, the next thing in psychology. When you feel tired, just take a break. Go exercise, read a book, go for a walk with friends or take a trip. Everyone needs a break. My advice is to get one. Otherwise, you will start over trading and making more trading mistakes. If you have a series of losing trades, stop and give yourself a break. A few days to clear your head, to clear your negative emotions. After that, start with analysis again. I hope after this video, you learn how important emotions and discipline are in trading and how they affect on our results. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. From me, Vasil Petrov, goodbye and see you next time. And don't forget to share this video with friends.